Hi, it's Barry again. In this section, I'm gonna teach you another cool hack that you can use to literally hack your own neurology to calm yourself down. This is again, a really, really powerful technique that can really reduce levels of fear, anxiety, and panic really quickly. Um, it uses what's called bilateral stimulation. Now, a number of years ago, it was found out that if you do what are called bilateral exercises, and by that what I mean is that you've got two um, hemispheres of your brain. The left hemisphere controls the right side of your body, the right hemisphere controls the left side of your body. If you um, have a problem, quite often it's in one particular hemisphere rather than the other. And by using an exercise that uses both sides of your body and stimulates both parts of your brain, what happens is it kind of breaks down the feeling. And this is a really powerful method that works so well with anxiety and panic disorders. A couple of years ago when COVID first um, hit, um, a lot of therapists weren't allowed to see clients for obvious reasons. Um, and I would have clients phone me up and say, look, I, I'm having panic attacks, can you help me? And I said, yeah, I, I, I'd love to help you but um, I can't see you one-on-one. -on -one. But what I can do is I'm gonna teach you an exercise right now, which I want you to practice for the next 30 days. And if you do this, it's gonna bring your anxiety and your panic levels down dramatically. And sure enough, after 30 days, these people were phoning me back and saying, look, you know, I don't need to see you anymore. I don't have anxiety and I don't have any panic attacks anymore. So this exercise is really, really powerful for bringing down levels of stress, anxiety, and panic. So how does it work? Well, it works because anxiety primarily is a left brain activity. Um, when they've done MRI scans on people with anxiety disorders, they found that the left hemisphere is often lit up like a Christmas tree. There's extra blood flowing into that area. And that's because there, there is um, a part of your brain above the ear called Broca's area. And this is the language center of your brain. And to, in order to do anxiety, you have to talk to yourself really, really quickly. You can't do anxiety in a slow, relaxed voice. You have to talk to yourself really, really quickly about 100 miles an hour and say about all the things that are gonna happen. You go, oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? And you start having to making bizarre images in your mind of everything going wrong. It's a left brain activity. And so the, the, the right hemisphere is pretty much sitting there doing nothing. And that's where the resources are. So this technique works because we're going to use bilateral stimulation to activate both sides of your brain. And the reason it works is because your hands have huge amounts of neural connections in them, huge amounts of them. You've got far more nerve cells in your hands than you have on virtually any other part of your body. Um, an example would be, I don't know if you've ever played that game with your partner um, that um, like maybe they write a, a letter or a number on your back and you're trying to guess what number or letter that is. And sometimes that can be really difficult. Well, why is that difficult? It's because you haven't got that, that many nerve cells on the skin on your back, but you've got loads on your hands. And this is why blind people can read a series of dots on a page and that is, is words to them, you know, it's like braille, it's braille. So they can read that because there are so many sensitive nerves in your hands. And so when you do an exercise with your hands, it stimulates a lot of your brain because the hands take up a lot of the brain's capacity. So here's how this works. And again, this is an exercise that I want you to play along with. And so what I want you to do is for the next 30 days to do this exercise. So what you do is first, you have to think about something that makes you anxious. So let's say if you've got social anxiety, think about um, going out with your friends or going to a business thing or whatever it is that causes you anxiety. Think about that and then rate it on a scale of zero to 10 again. 10 being the worst thing, zero being nothing. So let's say you think about a certain thing and sure enough, it's at level eight. So you go, great, okay, got it at level eight. Then you're gonna take a ball, um, it could be a bottle of water, it could be a car keys, whatever. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just stand up and you're gonna pass the ball from one hand to another. Now I know this seems really simple, and it is really simple, but it's very, very powerful because it's literally gonna start hacking your brain. 
Because when you're in an anxious state, you're in what's called fight or flight response or sympathetic arousal. But when you start doing this, your brain starts to slow down. And the key with it is the hand that's got the ball in is the one that moves. The hand that's empty stays still in the middle. Yeah. So notice that. So follow along. And if, as you do this, what you're going to notice is that your mind is going to begin to quieten down. Your body is going to start to relax. Some people notice shifts in their breathing. Other people notice that they get a bit of more saliva in their mouth as their body starts to relax. And we're just going to do this for a few minutes. Just keep following along. Great. And now just stop. And I want you to notice how relaxed your body's become. And I also want you to notice, okay, that feeling that was a level, whatever it was before, where is it now? Now, if you've done this, you'll find that that should have dropped significantly. If it hasn't yet dropped, all you then do is do it a little bit further. So let's say you started and it was a level eight and now it's a level four. Brilliant, excellent. Let's bring that down to zero. So notice the feeling of a level four feeling and then just start passing the ball again. And if you want to increase the, um, the power of this exercise, what you can start to do is to look at the ball as it goes off into your periphery. So you keep your head still, but you start following it with your eyes. And then you stop again and again, notice how relaxed your body is and now wait where you are now. Now I want you to keep doing this until you bring it down to zero. Now, trust me, this works. I've had clients who are coming in with panic attacks and I've given them a ball and we do this and within minutes they've brought the levels right down. Now the key is with this is practice because what we want to do is start to create new neural connections in your brain so that when you start to have an anxious thought or a fearful thought, then the brain is going to activate this. You can literally chain the two things together. So with your practice, what I want you to do is I want you to spend five or maybe 10 minutes a day, every day for the next 30 days with the ball. And the step one is think about something that makes you anxious. Bring the feeling up, weight it on a scale of zero to 10, then do the ball for two or three minutes and then rate it again and bring it down. Bring it down to zero every time. And it may take 10 minutes sometimes to bring it all the way down to zero, but keep doing it. What you're teaching your brain to do is that every time it starts to feel the anxiety, it will start balancing out your hemispheres because you're programming that in. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking, well, this is all very well and good. You know, I can do this in the comfort of my own home, but I often get anxiety when I'm going around the supermarket or when I'm going to work or when I'm about to do a presentation. I can't be sitting there with a ball doing this. Well, the first thing is, well, you could. <laughs> it would make people laugh. You would certainly change your state. But here's the thing. Once you've practiced this for a number of times, what you would have done is you would have built in some muscle memory. And so the interesting thing is your brain cannot tell the difference between a real or an imagined experience. So once you've programmed into this, this into your neurology, then when you are walking around the supermarket and maybe you start to feel a little bit anxious, you don't need to use a ball. All you need to do is just to think about using the ball. Just think about doing this. Because you're imagining doing it, it will fire off the same set of neural connections and it will bring your anxiety down. So there you go, have a practice with this. This is not like do it once and it's cured. This is practice it for 30 days and notice the massive changes in your life. So get yourself a ball, get yourself an apple, car keys, whatever. Practice this five to 10 minutes a day for the next 30 days and watch your life change.